Now, the Lagos State Governor, Babajde Isawolu, has formally commissioned the last red line flyover in Moshin. Speaking during the commissioning, the governor reaffirmed his administration's commitment to bridging infrastructural gap in the state and make the city livable. The governor expressed confidence that with the project, a journey of 30 minutes can now be achieved in seven minutes, thereby saving man hours in travel time. He expressed Gratitude to residents of the areas as well as the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, and the engineering company that got the job done in good time. Vehicles have lost a lot of tires, they've lost a lot of livelihood just attempting to navigate that. With this infrastructure, all of that has been put behind us. But more importantly, is our solution to ensure that there is minimal disruption on the red line corridor. And so that is why this overpass is strategically important. We have delivered <laughs> Agege Pen Cinema, we have delivered the Keja overpass, we have delivered the Yaba overpass, we have delivered the Oyimbo overpass. Now this is the Moshi Onipan overpass. And so for us, it's about keeping faith with our citizens. It's about ensuring that we can make this place a lot, lot better for them and make it a lot better that we met it. He also highlighted on the impact the project will have in the area, retreating his administration's commitment to fulfilling electoral promises to Lagosians. In her welcome address, Managing Director of Lamata, Abim Bola, Akiajo thanked residents of the area, uh, Nigerian Railway Corporation, and the State House of Assembly, as well as the state government, for their support and cooperation during the construction of the overpass bridge. We had to deliver four overpasses, and this is the last one out of the four. I really don't think today is a day for speeches. It is just a day for us to acknowledge the work that has been done by the state to also acknowledge those who have partnered with us, um, the community, because we couldn't have done this without the support of the community, and we thank you. And the uh, Nigerian Railway Corporation, because we're crossing over their track, the House of Assembly, who have supported us from the very beginning of this project. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.